Last week, we talked about problem solving and overcoming adversity. Remember Andrew Hillier, who he realized that black businesses weren't really being celebrated or highlighted. So he decided to create a marketing strategy that listed all of these awesome businesses. Well, he wasn't the only person from the Black Broadway era that decided to take entrepreneurship and leadership to the top all on their own. You know, it wasn't just marketing that Black people had an issue with, but it was also finding the proper education to hone their business schools. With Jim Crow laws still prevalent in the area, it stopped a lot of Black students from being able to attend high-level schools. Now, you as a scholar and a young entrepreneur as yourself, can you imagine not being able to go to school because of the color of your skin? Well, that was the date and time that Black people lived in in the 1900s. But an activist like William H. D Davis didn't want to imagine a world where he couldn't attend school just because of how he looked. And so what he decided to do was start his own school. He opened his own business school and it was named the Lincoln Temple Business College and it was located in Shaw. Now, he's not the only person that decided that he knew that learning I'll back up and she will cut it. Now, he's not the only person that decided that learning was important and valuable. This reminds me of famed lawyer Thurgood Marshall. Now, Marshall was born and raised in Baltimore in 1908, and he was raised by his parents to be resilient and to be studious. And when he came of age to attend college, he wasn't allowed to attend nearby schools. In fact, University of Maryland Law School was not admitting Black students at the time. But Marshall didn't give up. Marshall didn't quit. He knew that learning was always going to be important in his life. And so he decided to go to Howard University. And in order to get to Howard University, he had to travel from Baltimore all the way to Howard six days a week to make it to his law class by 8 a.m. every single morning. Now, this was a lot of work for Marshall, but his hard work did pay off. And by 1954, he won the case, Brown versus Board of Education, that freed Black students from the plague of segregation in the school system forever. And now we can go to school with whoever we want to.